Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about it Thursday. What have I been thinking about? I just got back from Chat Show. I spent one day at the show itself. And one of my favorite stops is going to CZ. I always like to see what they have new, what I can show you guys. A lot of fans of CZ. I've been a fan of CZ. I still am for years and years and years. But I noticed something. I noticed even last year that many of the people I used to know, not on a personal level, but enough to say, hi, how you doing, know the names and everything, they're gone. And I also noticed that there were very few new offerings. The TS2 in 9mm got discontinued in place for a TS2 in 40 Smith & Wesson. And I thought, that's kind of weird. Dan Wesson was there, but they still don't have an optics ready DWX. And I talked to a former employee, and what, what he told me was rather devastating. And then I got back home and started to dig into it a little bit and realized that CZ discontinued well over 130 firearms. Now, the CZ P10C, for example, they had that in four or five different colors. Well, all the colors are gone. They're all discontinued. We thought it was a big deal when they discontinued the 97 and 45. It's, it's gone. They discontinued so much more than that. Furthermore, many of the U.S. staff that worked for CZ, they're gone too, including the CEO who built the company incredibly well. I remember years ago, you could pick up a CZ 75 for 400 bucks. It wasn't a big deal. Yes, it had military throughout the world and law enforcement throughout the world. Yes, it was still a great gun, but it just wasn't expensive. This is back when Glocks were 500 bucks. You could pay less for a CZ. All that turned around now, and then we see CZ become a firearm dynasty where people were excited. People were looking forward to their next CZ. There are huge fans out there. And this person did that after 27 years, they were let go. Many disgruntled CZ employees. And you say, okay, business is business. Well, what does that have to do with me? Well, you're going to see less CZs, fewer CZs in the future. And I, I truly believe this. All the emphasis seems to be with Colt. It's not that CZ acquired Colt in 2021. You would have thought that Colt acquired CZ. They got rid of all the people that built the company. The innovation seems to be really low. And Colt came out with a blued python this year for $100 more on the MSRP than the stainless. They still have a whole bunch of 1911s as well as some military contracts. And the very company that had the bankruptcy going on seems to be running the books. And the financial decisions, including who they're laying off, came from Colt. And I find that rather strange. And I've been thinking a lot about this and I dug deep into it now. CZ struggled. There, you have CZ on one side and Colt on the other. Very different business models. And then CZ got hurt by the war in Ukraine because they used to get parts and materials from Russia and that all ceased. And you see Colt laying off people and not really putting much emphasis on CZ, but they are on Colt. And Colt has a whole bunch of 1911s and rifles and so forth, but it's just not as exciting as CZ because CZ would always come out with something new and then we would have something to look forward to. And now we have nothing as well as a whole bunch of disgruntled people. And I noticed that the vibrancy around that booth just wasn't the same. And there are, they have new people there and they're running around, but it was just, it was sort of like Glock booth, you know, Glock. You go there, there's, there's not a lot to see. I mean, they, they, they came out with some Gen 5 models. That's fine. People may want to buy it, but to go there and, and look at it and say, wow, this, this Gen 5 is so much better than the Gen 4. It's just not that exciting. And that's how I felt at the CZ booth. It was like, so I went over to Colt and find out what all the buzz is about. A blue python? Like, that's the best we have? You got new G10 grips on a 1911? Like, that that's where we're at here? And I'm afraid to report that I think it is where we are. And 
to the people who love CZs, don't expect much in the future. I, I truly believe that. They did everything they could to decimate the company. And yes, in 2023, they had some better financial reports. But to those of us who love CZ and want CZs and we're looking forward to specific CZs, specifically for us, it probably is not going to happen. I view CZ in as in a very bad state right now, something that could take years to get out of if it even gets in that direction. So we say, well, hang on, CZ acquired Colt. That meant CZ were, was going to be the ones to make all the financial decisions. And it seems like it's the opposite. It's Colt. And all the emphasis is on Colt. And we'll, we'll see if anything comes out that's new. I don't think it will. I think it's just going to be, we're going to hold steady here. We're going to sell what sells. And if it doesn't sell, we'll just check it off the list and get rid of that as well but my goodness you can get a colt revolver or a colt 1911 and we'll make some good ones for you you're gonna want to get those well perhaps so but most people want a cz a newer cz something that's new and exciting and it's my estimation that it just won't be there and i think that's gonna be the new reality for cz usa if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.